these kids should still have the same opportunity um, as everyone else. I promise. I promise. These kids are our future. At Trump University, we teach success. That's what it's all about. We started looking at Trump University and uh, discovered that it was a classic bait and switch scheme. It was a scam starting with the fact that it was not a university. So only in the US can a black man come from nothing, work every day of his life, become one of the greatest basketball players and role models of this era, give back millions to his community and build an entire damn school to offer at-risk kids a chance only to be called dumb and ungrateful. And only in America can the same man who disparaged said black man borrow millions from his dad, not pay his debts, file for multiple bankruptcies, open a fake university and charity organization, and then still be considered a successful businessman and called a patriot. On Friday around midnight, Trump took to Twitter to call LeBron James and Don Lemon dumb. That's right, the president chose to disparage a man who just gave back immensely to his fellow Americans by opening a school for at-risk youth. But opening schools is actually something that this president has in common with LeBron, except that Trump's school was not launched to help those less fortunate, but actually instead to swindle money from students gullible enough to believe that a Trump school would be anything other than a scam. So let's compare, shall we? The man Trump deemed dumb opened a school that offers students free tuition, free uniforms, free transportation within two miles, free bicycles and helmets, free breakfast, lunch, and snacks, guaranteed college tuition for every student who graduates, a food pantry for families in need, and GED classes and job placement services for parents. Meanwhile, Trump University was an unlicensed for-profit university that offered classes in real estate, asset management, entrepreneurship, and of course, wealth creation. But like so many of Trump's other business ventures, Trump University failed and was closed in 2010 after facing a lawsuit from New York's Attorney General's office for illegal business practices and two class action lawsuits in federal court. What do you think about Trump University? I felt like I'd been poisoned. I just felt like I was just duped and poisoned and ripped off. But I mean, to be fair to Trump, he was offering courses on wealth growth it just so happened that the students became a case study on how he was actually able to accumulate wealth by screwing people over. What a champion of the people though, right? And in 2016, despite insisting countless times that he would never settle. I don't settle cases. After winning the presidency, Trump did just that, settling all three lawsuits for a total of $25 million. Then as president, he continued fulfilling his patriotic duty by screwing over everyday people to offer more pocket money to the 1%. So when you look at these attempts both of these wealthy men made to give back, which one is really America first? Which one has the intentions of uplifting the community that he attributes to his success? Which one is really a dumb and ungrateful elite? LeBron James represents the true greatness this country offers, and I'd much rather live in a world reflecting the values, philanthropy, and intelligence of people like LeBron James and Don Lemon than one that upholds the divisiveness and narrow self-interest displayed by the current president. So here's what I want you to do. Not just share this video, but also comment below with the examples where LeBron James has uplifted those around him. Not just as a basketball player, but as a human being. As an American who prioritizes making a difference as opposed to solely making profit. Trump wants nothing more than to disparage LeBron James's contributions and to taint his efforts in a negative light. But we don't have to let him. You want to see more of the breakdown? Make sure to download the TYT app.